You're watching a television show, Grey's Anatomy, for example. Just at the moment that a character is about to make an important decision, the show pauses and you get this message. Which option would you like to choose? A. Meredith chooses to be with Derek, her handsome boss who may not be good for her. So this line, is it imaginary or do I need to get you on the marker? B. Meredith chooses to be with the nice, good-natured vet, Finn, who seems like the perfect boyfriend. You have the ability to save lives. I never said I wasn't scary and damaged, too. C. Meredith can't make a decision and leaves with her best friend Christina. Five, which is a super creepy gift for a five-year-old, but I kind of liked it. Run! D. George gets hit by a bus and Meredith goes to stay with him as he dies, ignoring all romantic prospects. You text in your choice, and the episode will continue in the way you choose. If a choice isn't made in 15 seconds, the choice that is most similar to your past choices will automatically start playing. With television today, the viewer is in total control of his or her shows. Instead of being tied into one director or writer's ideas, you get to decide how the show goes. Whatever you want to see is what you get. There are no more single, all-powerful studios. Rather, studios produce many options according to polls about audience reactions and responses and make what they think will make a wide variety of demographics happy. Viewers get to decide who lives or dies, who is happy or sad, who gets hired, and who gets fired. Passive viewing is a thing of 2012. Television has morphed into a medium for the people, from the people, and by the people. In addition, each option of an episode is available immediately after it airs for digital download, so you can see how it might have gone differently. You can stick to just your own chosen path, or see what others have chosen as well. Why should the TV universe only have one ending? Life has multiple endings, now your shows do as well. That was the thinking when this system was implemented years ago, and it has proved popular with audiences and advertisers. And it's not only with scripted pre-recorded shows. With reality shows, the collective audience's vote for who should be eliminated is counted along with the contestants and or the judges' votes. The contestants are not only playing for you, but with you as well. Never have people been more connected with television than today. An increase in viewer interaction should also come with more productive advertising. As said in class, the market for audiences determines the market for programs. If television in the future allows the viewer to choose which route they want the show to take as they watch it, advertisers should pick up on what kind of people are picking which direction. Focusing on gender and age is one way target advertising has worked in the past. For the future, it will be unnecessary for the viewers to provide their age and genders. Instead, commercials will be determined by which direction the viewer decides for the show to take. For the Grey's Anatomy example, let's say the viewer chooses option A. Meredith chooses to be with Derek, her handsome boss who may not be good for her. This is a risky yet exciting move. In this case, the viewer will get this ad. Old Spice body wash can't block odor for 16 hours. What? This one does, dummy. It's super powerful odor blocker body wash. Oh! 
This is because Derek is more of a masculine, save-the-day type character. On the other hand, if they choose option B, Meredith chooses to be with the nice, good-natured vet Finn, who seems like the perfect boyfriend, they'll get this commercial. The Mr. Clean Magic Eraser now comes with the fresh scent of Febreze. The Magic Eraser gets in and tackles what's caked on. Built up. Even downright scummy. The magical cleaning power wipes out tough grime and grit. And the Febreze freshness draws people in. The Mr. Clean Magic Eraser with Febreze freshness. It's a fresh take on tough cleaning. Option B is a safe, family-friendly option for Grey's Anatomy. A parent who wants to show their child a stable love life might choose this route for Meredith. For option C, which is Meredith can't make a decision and leaves with her best friend Christina, the viewer gets this ad. Think all tampons are the same? Tampax Pearl opens widthwise. Playtex Gentle Glide opens all around. That's a 360 degree difference. Incredible protection and all around comfort. Playtex Gentle Glide. Protection and comfort all around. This commercial is fun, girly, and playful, which appeals to the girls who are thinking, we don't need guys, we have each other. The last option, option D, is that George gets hit by a bus and Meredith goes to stay by him as he dies, ignoring all romantic prospects. In this case, the viewer will get this commercial. I don't want to feel depressed. I'd like to enjoy things again. I feel these aches and pains. The guilt. My sleep just isn't right. I'm so anxious. I need to focus. Depression hurts. Cymbalta can help with many symptoms of depression. Tell your doctor right away if your depression worsens, you have unusual changes in behavior or thoughts of suicide. Antidepressants can increase these in children, teens, and young adults. Cymbalta is not approved for children under 18. People taking MAOIs or thyridazine or with uncontrolled glaucoma should not take Cymbalta. Taking it with NSAID pain relievers, aspirin, or blood thinners may increase bleeding risk. Severe liver problems, some fatal, were reported. Signs include abdominal pain and yellowing of the skin or eyes. Talk with your doctor about your medicines, including those for migraine, or if you have high fever, confusion, and stiff muscles to address a possible life-threatening condition. Tell your doctor about alcohol use, liver disease, and before you reduce or stop taking Cymbalta. Dizziness or fainting may occur upon standing. Side effects include nausea, dry mouth, and constipation. Ask your doctor about Cymbalta. Go to Cymbalta.com to learn about a free trial offer. Depression hurts. Cymbalta can help. Because a fellow doctor getting killed by a bus is a pretty grim fate for the show, maybe these viewers are having issues of their own. In addition to the opportunity to make individual choices and view personalized advertisements, television has taken on an interactive element in the realm of social networking. Watching television is no longer a solitary activity. When you watch television, you are simultaneously connecting with viewers all over the world, discussing the program as well as the choices available. On Twitter, viewers can live tweet the episode they're watching. In addition, viewers can create trending topics so that other Twitter users can browse the opinions of people who chose the same option as them or one of the other ones. In this way, Twitter contributes to the interactive nature of watching television. In addition, Facebook users can discuss the events of the episode on the show's Facebook page in the various discussion boards for each plot option. Viewers can also participate in polls demonstrating which choices for that episode proved most popular. Even though television has become very individualized, with the ability to choose the episode's sequence of events as well as personalized advertising, social networking provides a way for viewers to come together as one community, giving them a forum to voice their thoughts and reactions in an interactive way. Thank <laughs> you.